So here we are, Sticky Woods. We just had a little game of wacky ball. We've got everyone except for Gracie. Well, partly because Gracie is so incredibly skinny. I figured if we're going to go and do wacky ball first, probably not a good idea to take skinny the rest because she's going to run around a slight a complete nutter. So I'll take her out when we get back. Indeed. Yeah. That's the thing, yeah. Take her out then. Before I come out, I was watching a video, overlap video, Gary Neville walking with uh, Roy King. Come on this way, Lucy. Uh, very interesting, coming and talking about um, their experiences. Wait, Mickey, come. Mickey. Come, Mix, come on, hurry up. You're usually the one in front. And we're going this way. We're not standing still all the time. Ah. So, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Oh, I said in previous videos, and I'll say again, it happens again, well, yeah. Um, Terry's doing brilliantly well. Really is, she's doing fantastically well indeed. Come here, Amber. Amber here. She's still going to come through us, isn't she? She's just standing there. If you go back a bit, then we can sort this out. Jesus. Amber! 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 Get here! Get here! She had, she had just gone behind that bush, we were fine. Amber! Come here! Amber! 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 No! Pick it up! No! You need to have them on loose. You can't have them running loose like that. But if you'd have gone over there, it would have been no, no problem I don't at all. Want dog in the Come on! If you'd have gone over there, no problem at all. You wanted to walk through them. You're stupid. You're an idiot. All these people are idiots. Look at this bush here. If she'd have gone over there, no problem at all. Dog wouldn't have seen her, seen her at all. There's no Gracie, so no problem at all. But of course, she's standing here. Idiot. What do you think would happen? The dog would go to see her and say hello. Stupid woman. So people like that, they're idiots. Absolute moron. Really, really stupid people. I say, if you want to protect your dog, simple. She was here, she saw us, here. I can see down there, she could have seen us, right? She looked to see us, looked here. And she had just gone over here and stood here, briefly, until we had gone through, just here. If that had done, we could have gone through here, through this way. No problem at all, we would have gone over there, she could have gone through there. That way and over there, anyway. No problem at all. That's what I do all the time. That's what other people do all the time. Sensible people. Idiots like that. Yeah. No. They're just stupid. I mean, can you not see it? You're standing there with your dog. Can you not see there's, what, ten dogs coming towards you? Yeah, if your dog is one of these ones that's a bit nervous of other dogs, get out of the way. Yeah? If they don't see you, no problem at all. If you're out of the way, I can call them back. If you're standing right in the path, what am I supposed to do? I stand there, you stand there, none of us are moving. So if I go forward or you go forward, we come together. Stupid woman. Really, really stupid. If you don't want us to come together, <laughs> you know, don't do that. So really, really stupid people. Yeah, sort it out. Anyway, what I was saying was, Terry is doing brilliantly well. You know, Terry and Jacob are now playing with the other dogs. Jacob is now playing with Covey and Lockie now, play fighting with them. That's good, he's getting bigger, he's getting a bit more aware and a bit more comfortable playing. And so is Terry, so they're now becoming part of the family. So I'm not stuck outdoors anymore. But actually indoors with a rest. But even earlier, Amber was in the um, basket when Mickey normally sleeps. And Terry jumped in with her and was sort of climbing all over. And although she was growing a bit, she wasn't actually that bad. Now, considering how she would have been previously. So she's getting used to the fact that this is her girl. Now, she's not trying to feed from us, so therefore, that's okay. All right. Well, they've all met Molly's puppies as well. I took Molly's puppies in there yesterday so I could have a shower. Get the puppies out of the shower so I could get in there. Alright, it worked. 
They will come and say hello to the puppies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what fun again. And I was saying about Roy Keane, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Neville was speaking about their time together, and their, well, their experience is not only of their time together, but in management as well. Now, Roy Keane was saying something quite interesting. That, uh, I will, I'll link it, because it's a good watch. Certainly if you're interested in football and that era of football, it is a, it's an interesting little watch. Although I'm not sure if anything's said more than what said, has been said already. I'm not sure if you're going to learn much from it necessarily. It's interesting seeing they're walking uh, King's dog called Jet. Jet or something like that. Something like that. I'm not sure. But um doesn't like toys. So Gary Neville brought some toys for the dog. And he didn't like toys. We're, we're going to have to go up that way because they're coming this way now. Right, come here, this way. This way, come here, here, this way. Come here, come on. Come on, donuts, this way. We're not going to stay much up this way. I just pointed to those to people that are coming, just say, you're going that way. They pointed to say they're going the way we just came. So I said, okay, we'll go up this way for now. We're not going to start up here. We're just going to go up here for a bit till they've got out of the way. Yeah. We could walk along here, but... I mean, this leads to somewhere. <laughs> it does, it leads to somewhere. I think mean, it leads to the area over there. There's an area over there that I think it leads to, where we went up the other day. So if we go left from here on a path, we should go back, we should go to the other path over there, somewhere. So, let's have a look. Yeah, don't eat those um, mushrooms there. They're quite um, angry looking. Yeah, white dots, red with white dots. Yeah, that's the ones need to eat those. I mentioned those in other videos here. Those are the ones not to eat, really. Yeah. So, of course, Roy was talking about, uh, Roy King was talking about the fact of, uh, yeah, as a manager, he managed Sunderland and did well, got promoted. Got the start. Terry, leave. Leave it, Terry. Terry and Pooh. Whatever you're eating, don't eat it. Yeah, he got them um, promoted. And then got them to staff in the Premier League, which was really good. Then, for some reason, he left. Even he said he doesn't quite understand why. He was trying to get a new contract there. He was a bit concerned because they weren't playing brilliantly well. He was a very, very young manager. Um, then suddenly he's gone. He said, then he went to Ipswich. He said, at uh, Sunderland, he made some very good... Um, transfers, brought in some good players, the right players. He said, whereas at uh, Ipswich, he didn't do that. Um, come this way. Well, I might as well go on the path when nobody goes. Because they've already had a good run anyway, so this is just a more of a sort of cool down walk. Leave it, Terry. Terry, leave. Leave it, Terry. Good girl. On you get. Move on. Terry, come. Come, Terry. Good girl, Terry, Terry. Well, actually, even Terry now, when I call her, she's coming now. She wasn't before, but she is now. She's doing very well. She's learning. I'm very pleased. And I've noticed she's getting bigger. I've noticed she's getting bigger. Fantastic. She's now starting to put on a bit of a growth spurt, which is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I've been a bit concerned about her size. But yeah, even her head size has got a bit bigger and the harness that she's got on was way too big at some point and now it's just about the right size. Oh, it's fitting her perfectly well now. So she's now grown into it. So that's just brilliant. Really, really good. Well, she's now about the size that Lockie was when Lockie came back. So when Lockie was 15 weeks old. Come here, this way, here. Here now. Oi, Jacob, here. Here. We're not going that way. We're going down the right. We're going to the right. Starboard. 
We're going to starboard. Oi, wrong way. Wrong way. Jacob. There you go. Starboard. Exactly. Starboard. Starboard. There you go. Oh, they're still there, those people. Oh, God. I thought we'd give them a chance to get out of the way, but uh, they're still there. Come, this way. They don't stop there, you see. <laughs> That's why the doggies are trying to go there. Right, okay. Anyways, here you go. So, yeah, basic, yeah. Going back under working, yeah. Keep on switching the subjects. Typical walkies with dogs, really. Um, yeah, he was basically saying, okay, uh, it's which he didn't make the right sort of sub, right transfers, didn't get the right players in, um, didn't work out it switch for him. Um, but as he said, he says some managers are given like seven or eight chances. I was only given one or two. And he's right, he wasn't given another chance. No. After he was given a chance to be assistant manager, but not manager. Well, to be honest, he's, he's one of these people who's not going to kiss butt. And a lot of owners want to kiss butt manager, didn't they? That's why United now have kept Oli, because Oli is just so, so pleased to have the job managing the club that he played for, he won a Champions League for, you know. To be taken back and given the honour of managing a job with so little experience, he's not going to make a fuss, is he, to the board? Keen would. Keen would be saying to the board, excuse me, you got the money from the car crew. Because, like, ah, that's the point. It had it on uh, football, BBC um, gossip bit that Man United won't be able to buy any more players until they sell players because they need the money from, excuse me, they sold the car crew. That money is just coming, just coming from the car crew sale to Chelsea. Yeah, Intra have now managed to pay the money to Man United. Well, they have to now. So therefore, that's a sell. That's a transfer. I think mean, there's about 55 million coming in. So they can go and buy players. As I say, Oli is not going to push the management to do that. The owners. Keen Wood. That's the difference. Owners want the likes of Oli. They don't want the likes of Keen. Keen is what is best for your football club. Ollie is what's best for the owners. So I say Ollie will never be successful in United. Because Ollie is say, one of these kiss ass managers. He won't be successful. Come on this way. Here now. Timmy, come. Less than that. It's no longer Lockie and Kobe that are play fighting on the walks. It's now Terry and Jacob that have taken up that mantle. Okay. Be interesting to see where these people are coming. They had two dogs. It was speaking to the people that went um, right as I was coming down. So I wonder where they're going. No idea. This is just a quick walkies anyway. This is not a massive, long, drawn out walkies. I'm not interested in that. Yeah. Yeah. The whole point now is let's get back, yeah, get sorted, get back home, take Gracie out. Yeah. So, but yeah, I was saying them, but um, certainly, even Keen was saying in there in that um, walk and talk with Gary, Gary Neville, that um, they were blessed at that point in time, Man United, really were. Well, they had leaders all over the pitch. It doesn't matter what team you looked at, really, with Keane, during Keane's time. There was leaders all over the place. You know, when Smichael was the goalkeeper, you had Smichael, Keane, Giggs, Bruce, Um, you certainly say 
Beckham, I suppose as well. He's he was a leader, wasn't he? Up front, you would have Cantona would be a leader. Um, Van Nistelrooy would probably be a leader. Certainly a strong character, a big character. Someone who would train hard, someone who would lead by example on the pitch. They had that in spades. And then later on, you had Rooney was added to the mix and Carrick was added to the mix. And um, you had Rio, you had Evra, you had Vidic. All over the place again. Fantastic players. Players who could just, you know, raise the game. Players that could encourage and lead the rest. That would you know, be the spark that was needed. But they were everywhere. Everywhere, leaders. Whereas now, no, there isn't any. And the reason why, I suppose the reason why is, is because Manchester United Football Club were so blessed with leaders over the years that now they're going to have years where they're going to be completely bereft of leaders. And they have been for at least the past what, six years. They've had no leaders on the pitch at all. Yeah? So I think they're due to have leaders back, to have a leader on the pitch. Because a lot of people would say, oh, Bruno's a leader. No, Bruno is a petulant um, attacker who can be a captain, I suppose. Could be a captain. The problem is he's got, to, he's got to figure out ways of still being in the game when he's being marked out of it. The problem is he hasn't figured that out yet. He hasn't figured out ways of being in the game when he's been marked out of it. Got to do that. Very, very important for him to be able to do that. He hasn't figured that out yet. But that's something he's going to do. Um, because that Popper also could be a leader. But he's got to be played in the right position. He's got to be given the freedom to be able to play football. You know, rather than be told he's got to be you know, defensive. He's got to be a strong midfielder who's getting tackles in and challenging in the air. And all. That's not him. He's not that player. Yeah, he's not, he's not Patrick Vieira, which is really what Jose Mourinho was trying to make him into. And Oli, at times, has been trying to make him into Patrick Vieira. That's not him. That's not his game. So that's why you've seen Pogba struggling. They've been trying to make him into a player that he isn't, that he can't be, because that's not him. That's not his mentality. That's not his nature. OK, we'll just walk back towards the car. Right, they've all gone that way, so it's easier to get them in the car, isn't it? With the rest coming in a second. Usi! Usi, Paul! Usi! 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 Lucy! Lucy! Get in with you! Paul! Lucy! Here! God, you're so stupid, Lucy! Look to where I'm pointing to, Lucy. I'm telling you where the ball is, so look to where I'm pointing. Nata! Anyway, there. There you go. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.